Hey everybody. So today we've got a set of these Bauer uh, 2600 pound capacity prepared sawhorse brackets. And we're gonna get them out of the box and put them to use and give you a little review. One thing that I do know for a fact is they have handles on them and they're much easier to carry and move around out of the box than they are in the box. Between the little handle or just grabbing the metal, that slick box is not that easy to hang on. So there is no assembly required. It's just simply a matter of getting these uh, out of the box, get the tape off of it. Okay, so got all the cardboard off and all the styrofoam out. So let's see what we've got. Open, it says, open first is this side. So we'll do that, and there's the button. So they don't open like switch blades. We'll see if we fill the shot. So we push the button here, and then what I'm going to do is pull them out. And there's more packaging. So let's push the button again. I thought they would lock in. Okay, so now that we've got them here, we'll extend the legs up. Make sure we're still in the picture. I'm going to extend the legs all the way. If you want to work on something at an angle, you can do that. Don't look like they're in the same hole. Well, let's see here. Maybe this one's not. Wow, that's dirty. Okay, so. These saw horses, the holes are labeled, and once you're at H all the way around, you're level. To move that leg, that kind of locks it, and then it's just a push in, and then you can slide it to whatever. 
hard to do while filming. Okay, then slide it to whichever hole you want. So push in and it slides pretty easily. So once it's on H, put it back locked. These saw horses also have this ledge that you can make pull down support to support a work piece. So you can fold that one down and fold this one down. And now you've got a ledge that you can set stuff on. I don't know if this shows up very well, but push on these, they do seem very sturdy. Okay, let's get the other one set up and try them out. Okay, so to take these out of the box, I slid the first one out. This one, I found it's much easier just to open the entire box up. Flip the saw horse up, pull the tire foam out after you pull the tape off. And then, from setting the last one up, I've also seen the easier open first, so, and that's pretty, you don't need to find the sign, it's the, the leg is on top, but you push the button and pull that up. Then this one has cardboard on it, but same thing, push the button and pull it up. Here's your instructions. When you open the legs up, these end up locking into the thicker part of the metal, and then you just bring open the brace. And then release the lock, push in the button, slide the leg up. I'm always going to use these on the highest setting. So the reason I still like the adjustableness is occasionally you might find something that you'd want to adjust. The other thing is if these stayed at this height that I'm going to use them at, obviously the sawhorse would not be as compact. So, there you go. Slide it up. Okay, let's take a look at these sawhorses. They, uh, they seem very sturdy. They don't wobble around much, they not real rattly. The plastic handle, I've seen some people complain about that, but it's in a little recess here, so actually, when that handle is not pulled up like this, like I said, the board or plywood or any whatever you've got across there is not gonna end up hitting that. Now, if you slide something across there, it might dig in and damage that handle, but here's the thing is, yes, you can carry it by this handle, or you just carry it by the sawhorse itself. So another item it has is these uh, pieces to hold a saw or to hold a two before. So you can end up making like a table out of this with a piece of plywood. And I've got a two before here, and this is the way it's designed to go in. You can see here that it's just a little loose. And the other item, if I can get it to where you can see it. So again, a little loose, and these are just standard store-bought two-by-fours. You can see that they sit just a little bit lower, if you can see that, than what the actual sawhorse is. So they're not totally flush with that. They're just slightly larger. So your plywood would sit across that gap and never actually touch this two before, but out in the middle, and this is where I see it being more useful for me, is when I cut material that's fl more flimsy, sometimes when it goes between the sawhorses, it sags in the middle. Well, this is gonna keep it from sagging more than about an eighth of an inch because that's all about all that that board is underneath. There you go, you can see it there. That. So that's the 
thing there the other item is on some of the folding saw horses i've seen they have like an end cap here and you can actually screw that uh, two before in to the saw horse to hold it from sliding and these don't have that but again it's not something that i'm going to require that it that it have there you go there's a good shot of how much lower the two before is than the actual saw horse okay these are handy because it has so many settings on where you put the uh, the legs and i've got them both on if you can see it there h so why that's nice is if you're quickly setting these up and you end up with a sawhorse that wobbles you can quickly look and make sure that all the legs are on the h so how the lock works is that kind of releases it then you push that button which pushes the peg out of there and one hand it's not as easy there we go so if you had you see this was now on G and our saw horses now wobble or rock a little bit and they shouldn't do that if the floor is level, which this floor is. Uh, so you can just go around and you can see that everything else is set on H, that was on G, that's your problem. So again, release the lock, push the pin and slide it down, which is gonna be really hard to do one handed. Okay, so now that I've got Hopefully it didn't frame. Again, the lock, the leg is unlocked. The button has been pushed and slide it till the H is visible. Once it's locked in, put the lock on and now the saw horses are stable again. The other item with these when you set them up is make sure it's your uh, leg is locked in place and it's not difficult to knock that loose but if you do then again you can get it wobbly or it could collapse on you so make sure it's pushed down and locked in place there's just not a lot to setting them up here are the feet and they angle so if you can see that if you had a situation where you're maybe outside, the, the foot kind of angles like a step ladder foot does. So that's nice. And then what's also nice is it's got a wider base because of that foot. So that will make them more stable as well. Okay, and these Harbor Freight Bauer saw horses are set up at maximum height, right at 32 inches tall. And if you use the entire width, they're right at 43 inches wide. So pretty nice setup. Again, it has multiple uh, A through H uh, adjustments for the legs, but on the height, we're always gonna just use them at the full height. I'm 6'2", Maggie's 5'4", and honestly, that height is fine, 32 inches, so that's what we'll use. If they weren't adjustable, however, as far as for the height, Again, they would take up, they would have to be bigger. They wouldn't fold up as small as they compact. And what we're looking forward to is when we're finished with this project is we'll put these uh, up to store and the less room they take up while they're being stored, the better for us. Okay, so these saw horses are gonna be used to replace our Harbor Freight welding table and our trash can with a whole bunch of stack of shims that we use when I cut the boards off the sawmill, I come in and stack them on this. And then with a roller, we've got it lined up, go straight into the table saw. So, and right now we're in the middle of cutting strips to use to chink our log home walls. One of the things that's nice about that set of sawhorses is they have a 2,600 pound combined weight. I don't know what the collapse weight of that Chicago electric welding table is. I don't know if it'll say, but I know that I have seriously worried about it collapsing over 
the time that we've been using it. So it'd be nice to get an actual pair of saw horses in here to replace that. Okay, and we've got a few pairs of these plastic saw horses around as well. They came from Harbor Freight. And they're not bad. They fold up nicely. They don't collapse. So they're larger than what that metal folding saw horse bracket is when they're like put away or stored. But we have collapsed at least two sets of these saw horses. And occasionally one of these will go flying across the, the barn. So the metal one is going to work a whole lot better than that. Here is a pretty good sized load of boards that we're waiting to use for trim. And then there are just also some, some boards that we're not sure what we're gonna use with them, but the dried ones, we cut all these on our sawmill. So these are all red oak, it looks like on the top. Uh, there might be some walnut in there too. But they're on just traditional saw horses that don't fold up or anything. And when we're done with those, the nice thing is they do hold quite a bit of weight and they have quite a bit of weight on them. But when we're done with these, we'll probably take the two befores out of the brackets. They just come in with screws and won't have anything but just the bracket. The two befores we'll use for something else. So let's load the new ones up and see how they do. This load, even though it's pretty heavy, nowhere near 2,600 pounds, I'll bet. But the wood sawhorses are quite stable. There's kind of a walk around with this log on here. Again, there's no visible bowing. The feet don't seem like they're wanting to spread apart or collapse inward. And you can see the entire log is on there. Pretty nice. Okay, so with that weight on there, and they were set right on the uh, where the rubber handles are at on these things, and they didn't rip them off. I've seen people make that comment that if you put weight on there, it's just gonna rip these handles off. Maybe it will in time. I don't really care that much. It's nice if they're there. I can carry them around, but 
if they're not there, I can just carry them around like this. The other object or whatever, the other item on this review is I have seen sets that, I mean, you like hit the button and they pop out almost like a switchblade or something. These don't do that. Uh, it's a little, it's not difficult. I mean, it's pretty simple, right? And I was able to do it. I don't think that you'll pinch your fingers or anything doing it. Uh, but if you're like a contractor that drives around with these in the back of your pickup truck and you set them up every day and have to put them away every day, even maybe when you go to lunch and back, uh, you might look for ones that set up a little easier. Uh, I can't remember the brands that I've seen, but like I said, there's, you know, reviews out there. Uh, these don't automatically pop out and put back away that easily. Uh, they're not difficult at all. My thing is now that these are folded out, they're probably going to be used for a year or two in this barn and I'm never going to fold them up and put them away. When I'm totally done with this house, we will fold them up and store them. And what I like about them is they do fold very compactly and will store a lot easier than any other softwares that I've got. So I like them. I don't care necessarily that they're not super fast to set up or super simple to set up. And like I said, that's the only thing that I've seen that anybody's had reviews on anything different with these. So like I said, they're, they're easy enough and they work quite well. They're super sturdy. I do like that. I mean, there's no wobble on these things. So, all right. Well, again, that's our review. Your mileage may vary. Uh, these we bought at Harbor Freight. They were not on sale at the time we needed the sawhorses. So they were approximately uh, 40, I think they were $49 a piece. Uh, they do sell them individually. So if you just want one or if you needed three, you can buy that. We bought a set. Uh, the set that we almost bought off Amazon was $140. So these were about $40 cheaper than what uh, the set that we were going to buy off Amazon and they looked identical. So there you go. All righty. Well, thanks for watching our Bauer foldable sawhorse video. We highly recommend these. We're going to highly rate them and I think we're going to get easily our money and worth out of them and really looking forward to putting them to use. So your miles may vary. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope you like it. We love your comments. Don't forget to subscribe and have a good one, y'all. Be safe.